Hello guys, uh, this afternoon, let's continue our topic on the fish uh, keeping. So if we are going to start to keep a fish tank, then what are the things needed? We have to make a list. Of course, we need the aquarium, the first one. And normally some people they say that um, the number one is the test kit. Do you know what is a test kit? It is a kit to test the water. But according to my experience, I don't think that the test kit is the number one. Because for me, for my experience, I even do not know how to test the water. So why should I buy a test kit? So mine is based on experience, okay? So the number one is of course the fish tank or the aquarium. And then the water. We need the water. You have to think what type of fish you are going to keep in your house. Are you going to keep a fish tank, a fresh water fish tank, or a salt water? So if you take, the easier is the uh, fresh water because you just get the water from your faucet, from the faucet. But you should know how to uh, take out the chlorine in the, um, in the water because the water from the faucet, there is the chlorine. And so you should remove the chlorine in the fresh water. And then normally for me, according to my experience, I add one teaspoon of um, mineral salt. Okay? So because the salt is good for the fish. It is medicinal. And then the filter. Look, the one in the black inside, it's the filter. You should have a good um, filtration system. So this one is the filter. Part of the filter. See? Connected to the one inside. You see the black one? That's a filter. And then, of course, the fish, they need a good environment. So, you need uh, the decoration. Look, especially the smaller fish, they hide because they are afraid of the big fish. And here, I invented this, which is a television for the fishes. Because the fishes, they also need entertainment. Because their life is very boring inside the aquarium. So like the human beings, they also need an entertainment. So I invented this, so see, it's moving. Because the water from the filter drops. And so I put these uh, false fishes there, toy, toys fish. And so they come and watch the television and they enjoy it. Okay. And then the lights, you also need the lights because of photosynthesis the plants they need lights and also the fish they need lights but your light should be open only for 8 or 12 hours and then you have to turn it off during the evening because it's also the time when the fish they go to sleep do you know that the fish they go to sleep they don't know how to close their eyes but they can go to sleep you know so the fishes they also need to sleep and then you have to create friendship with a fish, you know. So like me, for example, if I come here and I wave my hands and they know it's me. See? And they, you have to see that there is harmony among them. If not, if you see that there is one who is a bad fish, then you have to punish that fish like this one. If he chase the other fishes, then see, see, he's... This fish is afraid of me. He knows that I'm going to... Uh, I'm not happy with what he's doing. Look, look. So he goes away. And so the plants, they are important also inside the water. And then there is the air pump. So this one is the air pump. So there are, so they make bubbles. Not only the bubbles, because the bubble serves as the oxygen of the fish. Look, so there's the bubble there.
like here, in the small fish tank, there is the bubble there, there is the air pump. And then you need this one. This is the magnetic uh, cleaner. To remove the uh, algae, you know, after two or three days, the algae they form inside the aquarium, and so you have to remove them. The bacteria. And so let's uh, summarize the things inside this aquarium. So if you start having an aquarium in your house, first you need to have an aquarium. And then the water, remove the chlorine in the water by using the mineral salt and the chlorine remover. And then the um, filtration system, a nice filtration system. Look, this one is already one week. I, I suppose to clean the water now, but it's still crystal clear because there is a good filtration system. And then the light, and then the environment of the fishes. Okay, now you can start to have a fish tank, keeping a fish tank in your house. Okay. By the way, uh, shout out to uh, Jenny Bula, my friend, and she's following my blog because also her, she's uh, keeping her fish in her house and I think she, you are more expert than me because you've been keeping fish for already seven years. But anyway, she asked me a question and she said, John, where is the fish that you separated, the fish in the quarantine? The one I put here before and um, sad to say I told her that that fish uh, passed away because of loneliness you know because these fishes they are cichlid fish they are very aggressive and that fish I cannot put that fish mix with this fish because they are going to eat that fish that's why that fish uh, got sick because he feels uh, sad to be alone and all these cichlid fish are chasing him and so uh, he was in quarantine for many days but then uh, because of loneliness he died Every time I come here, when I wave my hand, that fish was um, moving, was so happy. But I cannot stay here the whole day to watch him. And so uh, when I go away, he feels lonely. And at the end, he could not make it. So, bye-bye to that fish. I forgot that type of fish, but he's another type of fish. And this one instead are all cichlid fish. Look, the very aggressive cichlid fish. And these fishes here are also different. These are different types of fish. So uh, there's the rainbow fish there. It's the rainbow fish. The small one. And this one is another type of fish. She's alone. And she's is get, getting bigger and bigger well the rest they are all uh, the same type of fish and so bye bye for now and if you have any comments or question you can write them below on this video okay for my next blog I will base it on your question if you have any question of keeping fish tank beginner in your house then write it down 
See you.